Hi, I'm Simon and I want to explain how to use a blueprint to paint a pixel into a render target or a texture and be really exact. Here I wanted to have this pixel exactly at this position, at position 2, 2 and uh, it works great and I want to show you how I did this because I didn't find any tutorials. What came most near was this one, I will link this in the video description, it helps a lot and is a bit more detailed than what I will do. I will do the minimum approach, just write a pixel or two into a texture. So what do we have to do? First we create a render target, but be careful, not just a render target, we use the canvas render target because here we can use um, draw box and draw line and such operations which I uh, want to use and as far as I know I can't do this with a normal render target, but correct me if I'm wrong. We will um, name this like our render target and I really like to um, create this before um, the blueprint uh, or in general I like to create it offline you could say because then you can just double click and set some options here for example the size. Um, I know you can create such render targets also in, in real time but I prefer to have it <clears throat> like so and I will show you later why. So this is our render target, a canvas render target and now we need a blueprint. Just a normal actor, nothing special and I will um, name this our uh, blueprint. <clears throat> okay, first what we uh, should do is to make sure that our script is executed and I like to do that with a print command, just print hello and test if we see something. We don't see something because first we have to um, put our blueprint into the level and now there's a hello there. So we are ready to start now and what we have to do is to start painting on our canvas and there's um, a start start canvas no it's not called canvas it's um, begin draw canvas render target and here we set our render target our render target we just created it and now we can um, begin painting but I forgot something before we might want to clear everything which was created before uh, in the last session basically. So we clear the render target also we just select our render target here and we are fine to go. And here uh, I, I found that uh, yeah, drawing the line from here sometimes helps, sometimes I had problems connecting it later. So I make this type draw and now we have several options here and for me for writing pixel exact data it worked the best to use draw texture. I used, uh, I tried with box and line, but I couldn't make it that I only have one pixel. Mostly I had two in my texture later. Uh, so draw texture worked for me really, really well. I had to set, can I zoom nearer? No, uh, I can, I have to set the screen size to one and one. And this here is the position. We want to have our pixel, for example, at position 2, 2, like I did before. Um, we don't want to have a texture because we have a render color here. And I would say we set this to a nice green. And that's basically it. Uh, what we have to do now is to end the canvas drawing. Um, end draw canvas to render target and connect the context bubble from here to here. So let's see, uh, that should be it. Right now, when I, play, uh, when I hit play, we should see this color at position 2, 2 in our render target as soon as we hit stop. Um, and there it is. There it is our render target and we see a pixel. Isn't that nice? So now let's have a look on um, the texture and the options because I mentioned these options before which are important to me. Maybe I can set these in real time too, um, but uh, I don't know. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but when I for example draw the pixel at zero, 0, what you see is that here there is some uh, bleeding basically, right? Do you see that? Here is the pixel, this is our original position, but here we see also some, some colors. And if you don't want this, then we can for example 
Um, let me zoom in. Here we see the phenomenon as well. And we can change the render target to clamp instead of wrap. And what we will get now when I hit another one, play and stop, we see that now there's no color information here, which is really good. And if we want to see if we are really exact, because here we see some filtering and some, there's some, some stuff going on with the colors, we can click here and create a static texture. And when we opened it, when we open that texture, we can zoom in and we don't see anything. The reason for that is that we have to deactivate the alpha channel. Here's our pixel now. And now filtering, nearest neighbor, and here we see our perfect pixel. And we can um, just put another one. So I will just copy my draw texture function here. Let me put the canvas here and define, yeah, don't know, different pixel, different color, and like so. And now we should, we should see another pixel here. We can create um, a static texture here and open it, zoom it. Sorry, there's a lot of manual work to do here. And then set the filtering to uh, nearest neighbor to see it better. And it works perfectly. I would say this is zero, zero. This is two, two. Here's one pixel could be in between. So it works really, really nice. Um, what you could do with such a technique is, for example, if you have the position of some object in the world and you want to save this position um, frame per frame into a texture um, to keep the data for some reason, then you could do that. Uh, but I'm sure your um, creative brains will find uh, own solutions why this could be useful. I um, yeah, I was looking uh, some time for for exactly that and couldn't find too many tutorials, so I um, decided to create my own one. Um, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment in the comments if I did something wrong, explain something wrong, or if you like what you just saw. And uh, yeah, I wish you a nice day. See you soon.